Hey guys, how you doing? So with the Mage just around the corner, thought I'd better put my pickums in. Actually, the first time I've ever done it, but you know, some of you guys are interested in it, so I thought I may as well put it out. A little bit of an easier video to make, I'll admit that. Not as much research as the other one. So let's get straight into it. So obviously I've got everything going on here. You work out what's for a top 10 here, first round picks, etc, etc. So Twitter, that'll disappear soon. So I'm going to use my high tech system here just to highlight what I think is going on. So I'm going to start here with the 0 and 3 pick. Obviously the only, I guess what you'd call a loser, the rest of them are going to go through to the, to the main event, so that's always a positive. So um, who are my teams are going to highlight them in red? My teams that I think don't really have much of a chance going through, and I don't think I have to explain this much. So I've got Avangar, Flash, who didn't even actually qualify technically. They did technically, but they third place the Asian Minor. Vegas and Quantum Bella Fire. So these five teams here, I think, are, are, are a tier below the rest of the competition. I don't think many people are going to doubt this. You could maybe make a case for Vegas Squadron coming from the Major last year. The other four, you're not going to much of a chance. So it really comes down to who am I going to pick as, I guess, who am I not going to put as 0-3. So the teams I don't think are going to through is Sprout. I think they're going to probably win one or two games, simply because even though they're not great, great players, Crystal, Speedy, and Dennis are all... I'd call them almost veterans. I mean, they've been not playing at the highest level, but they played in, uh, I think, iterations of Mouse Sports even, uh, obviously, or maybe it was Penta. They definitely played in Penta. I'm not sure about Mouse Sports, but they have a lot of experience. Crystal has actually been a decent player at certain times, uh, not anymore. But I think this experience will carry them over the edge. So I'm going to gonna go through. I'm just going to fully cross them out, um, not as one of my zero and a three, but they're not going to make it, I still don't think, cause, just because of the level of competition in the rest of the field. Vegas Squadron, as I said, also experienced. They actually played in the, f the actual major last year. So again, I'm going to cross them out as well. Again, just because of experience, I think, yeah, this is going to be pretty nerve wracking for teams like Quanta, Bellator, Fire, and I'm not even going to put them on saying that right, and Flash. Vanguard, I think, have been at it before. I should, probably should have done my research, but whatever. And basically, because Vanguard finished number one, these guys finished number two, even if you look at their results, um, you can see these guys do have the advantage over uh, the, the fiery the fiery people. And so if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see at the actual minor itself, they beat them in the final 2-1. And then also in the group stage, they won their match 16-12. Admittedly, look how close these games were. Both teams getting to at least 14 and one game going to overtime. So they're not super unevenly matched. And I'm not saying, I mean, they don't even necessarily play against each other, will they? So... I mean, that doesn't really mean anything, but I think both teams aren't going to make it through. And I think just simply because of head-to-head -head matches, it's got to hedge your bets a little bit. And pick these guys are going to be one of the worst two. You got to, and it's going to come down who do you think's worse out of these guys. Uh, so I'm going to put in Quarter Bellator Fire as my zero and three team. And it doesn't really matter uh, if you're interested. I actually think Flash. I didn't even really qualify. They'll also go zero and three. It just kind of makes sense. So, but the team I chose was the second team from the CIS Major. We were ranked something, I mean, it's incredible that they even had this, which is obviously a great a great thing for them, because I think on the HLTV rankings, they're incredibly low. They're ranked 60 at the moment. And they, <laughs> so, I mean, they're, they're probably pretty happy just to be there, with a, especially their org with the sticker money and stuff. But, so, if I bring up my fancy thing, we've obviously got to pick, we've got f lost five teams, so we've got to pick, from 11 teams, you've got to pick which eight they're going through. So again, I'm going to switch over just to the three and zero team. I think there's some pretty obvious picks as teams that'll definitely, we'd hope, go through. Ace Clan being one of them. G2, Cloud9, and Mouse. I mean, I'm not really going to explain this too much. Mouse Sports, you can maybe argue with a little bit, but I mean, look at just look at the top ten. Phase number two, Cloud number five, G2 seven, and Mouse Sports actually crept all the way up to eight. And I think just with um, Mouse Sports record, you can't really argue against them. You just one. So if you just just look at their record, I mean they've recently played the most recent event, the ECS finals. I mean they 2-1. I mean they, they took one map off phase. And look how close these games were. This is an incredible series if you haven't watched it. And I think just their past performances and stuff, just their firepower is just gonna dominate this kind of yeah, this field right here. And I think there's there's no chance of them not making it. So these four teams you gotta pick which one's gonna go three and zero. G2 can be inconsistent. Cloud9, if they come up against phase, will lose. The matchup is just are uh, horrible. <laughs> if you look at their track record against each other, they're just like a bad nine. Just just can't get it done against phase. Just a matchup thing. So I think you got to go with phase here. It has to be the smart option. Obviously, it's the super obvious one, but I don't really think I can pick anything else there. So then we've got Mouse Sports G2 and Cloud9 left. So I'm just going to go and plug them in straight away. 
I don't really think I have to talk about them too much longer. G2. I really like the G2 sticker actually. That's the French French flag as well. I think it's really cool. It's got four teams left. And from here, so obviously I've highlighted these guys. Highlight is a bit hard to see. But so we've got Space Soldiers, Renegades, Misfits, uh, Navi, Liquid, Envious, and Flipside. With four slots left. So these teams, you could argue, I guess any of them could come through. I think the obvious outlier straight away is possibly Flipside. Uh, obviously they have the record of always making it to the Major. But I think if you just... Uh, they've obviously replaced um, Electronic with Seized. But if you just look at their recent results, I mean, I don't even have to go very far on this. I mean, they've lost 2-0 to a team, team called Super Jimmy. Um, I don't know if that was online or not. I mean, they've lost here. Like, they, haven't, they haven't won these last four games. They've, they've all lost. So I'm just going to go straight away and get rid of them. But they'll probably make it because that's what they do every year. So I'll probably be wrong on that one. So then I've got a, a few teams left right now. And I'm just going to go straight away. I'm just going to start. I'm going I'm to plug in the Renegades. Um, we haven't seen them play in a while. Look here, actually, they haven't played since November. They didn't play anything in December. Um, come on, load up. This is what happens. I didn't even click it, did I? I don't know what's going on, but my internet's so slow that I can't even tell if I clicked. See, they haven't played since the 24th of November. Ugh, excuse me. And, um, yeah, I mean, the results are very patchy. Uh, losing to, like, NRG. Uh, lost a map to Luminosity. Beating Cloud9, I mean, it's very up and down for them, but I think they, they should hopefully get it done. They've had a lot of time to practice, as you see, they haven't played since the 24th of November. So they've been grinding hard and they get the results done. Plus, they're from Australia, so I, I have to put them in right, I don't really have much of an option. So in they go, straight away. So what have we got left? A few teams, a few cheeky ones. Team Liquid, obviously, with uh, with Zeus in this one. They don't have Steel, obviously, after they drop Stan. So I'm going to go here. So I think... Including Renegades, any of these six teams left, you could interchange and it could be all very reasonable picks. Um, I'm going to go and tell you straight, I'm going to put the Space Soldiers in. They haven't been. Obviously, the, the Turkish lineup, I think. I hope I got that right. Yep, Turkey. Just while I know my stuff. So, there's been, look how long they've been hovering around at this like 20 something in the world. And I mean, their results are pretty patchy. 2 1. I mean, but I mean, they're beating teams. They should beat, and I think it, I think it's about time they get to the major. I mean, two one against Fnatic isn't ever going to uh, scoff at that in this kind of. I guess this should be like team sixteen to twenty four technically. Um, two o envious, another team I'm tossing up between here. Um, beating big, who actually already in the minor as a legend. That's a very debatable. Virtus Pro, obviously, a bit of a patchy form at the moment, but I think you can just look at the results, and I think they've been hanging around for a while. They obviously have a bit of experience under their belts, this team, and I'm just going to go put them in. Um, as one of the teams going through. So that leaves me with... Come on, highlight it. There we go. Navi, Liquid, Envious, Misfits. So I'm going to put... Actually, let's work, let's work backward on this one. And teams I'd eliminate. So this is going to be... Some of you won't be happy about this. But I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm not going to put in Team Liquid. Simply because... I don't think they're going to do particularly well. You look at their last... Look at these results. They're horrible. To put it bluntly, <laughs> but I mean, with especially with Zeus, they don't even have steel in this one. I mean, obviously, like 16-4. I mean, some of these are okay, but Hellraisers again, 16-4. They seem to do okay against Phase. Um, Astralis, they're pushing. Obviously, the stand-in. I don't know. I, I just don't, I haven't seen them beat. I mean, obviously, except for this one against Astralis, they haven't won anything substantial in a in a while. I mean, this is going back to the 15th. 15th of November before you start to see them. They won a couple of things against Renegades and Gambit, and that's a long time ago. And it's not like they've been um, just not playing like Renegades were. They've been they played on 17th of December as their last game, and they've just been losing non-stop. Especially with the fill-in, I don't think I can put them through. So straight away, I've got to eliminate them. Some of you will definitely disagree with me on that one. So I've got three teams left, two spots left. I'm going to put in Na'Vi, simply because I think... Well, their recent results actually aren't that bad if you look at it. So, I mean, if you just look at this, all green. I think Simple's, Simple's also just going to straight carry on this one. I mean, against the field that it is. If they come up against teams, I mean, their first round matchup against Quantum. Like, I think Simple could probably drop 86 frags or something against those guys. Um, and then they're going to move on from the next stage. I haven't really referred to this much, but I'll show you guys something interesting at the end. 
But yeah, I mean, they've beat Space Soldiers, another team I've already selected to go through. Mouse Sports, who I put through straight away as being the number eight. They're one of the teams I was very confident in. Envious. And you see, these are the teams I've all put through or tossing up between Envious, still one I haven't decided on. I haven't decided on, I just haven't told you guys yet. So I think you got to put them through. Simple's going to carry against this kind of opponents. So they're going to make it through to the major. So it leaves us with one last pick, which is between Misfits and Envious. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and compare these two. I'm going to, I'm going to put them down like this. So Misfits, very very check it. So their two losses were against SK, so they're kind of forgivable. These are uh, Envious. Envious, obviously RPK has been playing quite well. They have big names like Scream, second best French team or whatever. And why is this not working? My internet is very bad today. I mean, who's like they just versus a team called Russia, let them get 12 rounds. Belgium, I don't know what this, I didn't really watch this tournament, but whatever. So, I'm not, this is close. I mean, Envious are shocking on LAN. They're very good online. They're a bit of an online team, I guess you could say. Um, some people disagree with me on that one. I think Misfits 2-0, they're, they're beating teams, Misfits, that they, they maybe should. Uh, they probably should have beaten Optic here. Um, but they're beating teams, CLG, they're losing teams like Cloud9, but then they're beating them. Liquid, there's another one that's back in 12th November. They actually, they've had a play a little bit recently. I don't know, I feel like Sean Gares would have been, he's going to be studying for this one. He, he's going to try and work out who they're playing against. Uh, Misfits, straight off the bat, who are they playing? They're playing Flip Slider team. I didn't put through. This could be a, a close game, actually, but I think... Bit of the battle of the in-game leaders with Blade, Blade going on there, but I think Misfits will probably come through in that opening match. And I actually think they'll go further than Envious. Envious haven't had anything particularly convincing to me recently, and I just I don't find them that convincing on LAN. It's a toss-up, I'll admit that. But I'm gonna go through and my last pick will be Misfits. That's it for my prelim pickums. Uh, depending on how this one's received, I'll probably make one as well. Just why not? I mean for the main event. Um, and yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter, as you're seeing below, all you see it coming up and down. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.